talk about something quickly. All right, let's talk about ghosts and ghosts in the house and why ghosts tend to come out of closets. Anyone that's really been in the haunted house, all right, or a house that has a lot of activity, you'll start noticing that the closets are very active. The, the spirits, ghosts, disincarnate people, they tend to, one, hide in ghosts, or hide, hide in closets, and they seem to kind of manifest, manifest and come out of closets. It's more common than you think once you start really looking into the phenomenon, all right? What I want to talk about is why I think ghosts are actually able to do that. I believe scientifically, you know, they're using the cashmere effect. The cashmere effect, which really pr produces zero point energy. It's two metal plates in a vacuum. And between those plates, you start getting zero point energy bouncing back and forth. That's the cashmere effect. All right. Um, I believe that is, that's also what real orgone accumulators were. Uh, Wilhelm Reich's real orgone accumulators, which were um, basically wood uh, and uh, sheet metal layered all the way in. All right. Then I've discussed that on another video that's dealing with orgone cloud busters. But, oh, that's on Patreon. You have to go over there to see that. <laughs> anyway, um, that's just one thing that I think that they are doing. So I think that the same function that an orgone accumulator box uses, which is the zero point cashmere effect, is what ghosts are also using for their energy fields inside of a closet, inside of the four walls. I believe they're bouncing, building up energy there so they can manifest more outside of that room. That's what I think is happening there. But I think that also channels all the way back to why when some of us were children, you know, keeping the closet door closed. I was one like that. I didn't like sleeping with that closet open. <laughs> I think a lot of us are like that. Where does that truly come from? What is the origin of that fear? The, the, the monster in the closet. Where does that really come from? It's the fact that these entities are able to build energy in closets. Then after they get that much energy, they start moving into other things, such as the plumbing of your house or into your vehicle, the plumbing and the fluids of your vehicle to affect your life and stress you out financially. Anyway, that's going into other videos about inorganic being attacks. Sometimes disincarnate, disincarnate beings do that, or sorry, disincarnate humans do that also. So anyway, just the cashmere effect, ghosts and closet, I think they're connected. Uh, food for thought, thank you. Please subscribe. Please check me out on Patreon. It's Patreon that is paid for this, this video here. Um, I, um, will start, I'm starting to do private consultations. I'll do readings for people. All right. Which, I which I do do, or I will also do a consultation. If you've had extraterrestrial contact, you want to talk about that. I will talk with you. That stuff takes a lot of time. It takes energy. I've been doing this free for four years now. I'm at a point to where I have to have some type of remuneration. There has to be an exchange of energy. All right. So contact me privately. You can go to my website. BarryLittleton.com, or you can email me. I just got my email straightened out yesterday, okay? So I'm seeing other messages. I'll be responding and checking that every day. BarryLittleton13 at gmail.com is my email. Hit me up. Thank you.